Hello, my name is Matt Sickett, and I'm an emergency physician and co-director of the Stroke Centers at Rhode Island Hospital and the Miriam Hospital. I'm here at the Lifespan Medical Simulation Center today with Jeff Devine, ACM of LifePak Critical Care Transport, and Karen Amity, ACM of the Stroke Center here. On behalf of the Rhode Island Stroke Task Force, we wanted to talk to you today a little bit about some of the pre-hospital stroke protocol changes for 2016. As you may know, there have been a number of impactful clinical trials revolutionizing how we treat acute ischemic stroke. Not only is intravenous thrombolysis effective, but in a certain subset of patients, mechanical thrombectomy using an interventional procedure also is beneficial. It poses a challenge in the pre-hospital environment though. How do we differentiate the acute ischemic stroke from the large vessel occlusion caused by a clot in the internal carotid artery or middle cerebral artery? There's no perfect tool unless you have a CAT scan in the ambulance, and so in lieu of that, we're going to introduce a pre-hospital severity score called the LA Motor Score to use in addition to the FAST screen that we've been using successfully for a number of years. Over the next series of videos, you're going to see a number of takes of the LA Motor Score, how you score it and how you perform it, and we hope that you use this in the pre-hospital environment to help differentiate when a patient should go to an acute stroke-ready hospital or primary stroke center as fast as possible to receive TPA versus when you need to bypass that hospital and go directly to the comprehensive stroke center where this interventional procedure can be offered. Thanks for your attention. Okay, so uh, we want to walk you through the LA Motor Score, which is the uh, new pre-hospital severity score that we're using for stroke to help predict who might have an emergent large vessel occlusion or ELVO. Uh, it's very simple to perform and it only takes a few seconds and involves some of the components that we're already doing on the, the FAST screen. Really it involves three components, which includes facial droop, so you want to assess the patient's smile. So can you smile for me? Great. And then next is arm drift, so can you raise your arm? And I want you to hold this up for 10 seconds, right? Typically with the stroke scale, this is performed with the eyes closed. And you look to see if over the course of 10 seconds the arm drifts down slowly or if it drops rapidly. So in this case, her right arm uh, is able to be maintained up for 10 seconds, which is great. And now we're going to try it with the left arm. Perfect. And so the score is zero here, and it's scored zero uh, if full strength, one for a mild slow drift, and two for a complete drop. And the last component is grip strength. So you want to test them at the same time, say, can you squeeze for me, and look to see if, uh, if you've got symmetric grip strength. If there's mild loss in grip strength, that's a score of one, and if there's total loss of grip strength, that's a score of two. So what we're looking for is a score of four or five that would uh, predict that this is a large vessel occlusion of the, the ICA or the, the MCA territory and that patient needs to go to Rhode Island Hospital for the Comprehensive Stroke Center for interventional therapy and clot retrieval. So we're going to run you through a couple of other scenarios where we, uh, where, where we score it differently. So we're going to do a Los Angeles Motor Score assessment on this patient. The first thing we're going to do is assess for a facial droop. So I'll have the patient smile and show me your teeth and the patient appears to have a left-sided facial droop uh, that would be a score of one for that. The next thing we're going to do is assess the arm strength. So we're going to have one at a time, the patient hold their arm straight out. Please close your eyes. We're going to hold it straight out for 10 seconds. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's no drift with this arm, so we'll try the other arm. We're going to hold this arm straight out for 10 seconds. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there is a slow drift of this arm, so we'll score that with a one as well. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to assess grip strength. I'm going to take my fingers, I'm going to ask the patient to squeeze as hard as you can. And I, as you can't notice this, but I notice a slight reduction of grip strength in her left arm. That would give her a one. So she has a total of three for that Los Angeles motor score. One for the facial droop, one for the arm weakness, and one for grip strength. All right, we're going to do an, a LAMB score assessment on this patient. First, we're going to assess for facial droop. Please smile and show me your teeth. Okay, um, it appears to be a pretty symmetrical smile, so she gets zero points for that. Next, we're going to assess um, arm strength. So we're going to hold one extremity, one arm up. Please close your eyes. Hold your arm in this position for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. You can put that arm down. That was perfect. So we're going to hold this arm up. Same thing. We're going to hold this arm up for ten seconds. Ready? One, two, and the arm dropped very quickly to score two points for that. So now we're going to assess grip strength. We're going to have her hold onto my fingers and squeeze as hard as you can. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. I have good grip strength with this hand, but no grip strength with this hand. This would also score a two for a total lamb score of four. Two points for grip strength, two points for arm weakness, and zero points for facial droop. Okay, we're gonna do another lamb score assessment on this patient. First, we're gonna assess for facial droop. Please smile and show me your teeth. Uh, appears to have a, a significant facial droop on the right side, so that would be a score of one. The next thing we're gonna do is a test for extremity strength. We're gonna have her hold her arm out straight for 10 seconds. Please close your eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's good, you can put that arm down. We're gonna assess the other arm. Ready, same thing. We're gonna hold this arm out straight for 10 seconds. One, two, three. The arm dropped quickly. That would be a score of two for arm weakness. Then final point is we're gonna assess grip strength. So we're gonna take her hands I'm gonna ask her to squeeze as hard as she can. Squeeze as hard as you can. She has a good grip on her left side and weakness on her, very significant weakness on her right side. That would be another score of two. So she gets a two for grip strength, a two for arm weakness, and a one for facial droop for a total lamb score of five. So in an attempt to put it all together, how do we combine the fast screen and the LA motor score? Well, really, if you just add the components of grip strength to the fast screen, or uh, speech to the LAMP score, uh, then you pretty much encompass everything. So let's try to do it in real time at the bedside. Uh, so first I want to assess speech. Uh, can you say Pawtucket for me? Pawtucket. All right, so that was normal and we've assessed uh, both the, all the components of speech, the pa, the ta with the tip of the tongue and the ka with the back of the tongue. All right, now I'm gonna have you smile. All right, and again we notice a symmetric smile. I'm gonna have you lift this arm up Close your eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. And now this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And lastly, grip strength. Okay. So she's all clear and she scores zero both on the fast screen and the LA motor score.